Well, hello everyone. Welcome to LB Plans. My name is L, and today I am doing something a little different. I know I haven't been around. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, life be life, and and I am getting my life back together. Um, I think March was a reality check for me, and it was when I identified that I need to get things back on track. And so here I'm showing a different video today. This video, I will be doing my first cash stuffing. Oh my God. Um, I am a budgeter. I've been doing cash envelopes. I want to say probably since maybe 2017. So I am not um, new to this. Um, but reality is that the reality is, is that since the pandemic, my budgeting has kind of fell off. And so I am going back to basics. So I pulled out my personal size Kate Spade and I made some envelopes just to get me started on the things that were important to me. I've already started stuffing them and I'm just going to get right into it. Um, I want to first give a shout out to the cash stuffing community. If it's such a thing, um, you guys have inspired me to kind of put my life back together um, as it relates to budgeting and getting back on track. Um, I am loving watching the different saving challenges, um, no matter how big or small. Um, I think when I really started uh, budgeting, via cash um the only challenge there was only like two challenges that i was aware of like the 52 week challenge where you either do 52 weeks counting down or up and the 100 envelope challenge but now you guys are amazing and you've have became so creative in different things and it kind of inspired me to get back into it such that i actually created a challenge that i've seen and it's kind of very similar to the envelope um, 100 envelope challenge, but this one's different. In the end of this one, you'll save um, $1,500. Um, I thought that was achievable based on um, 1500s would be about a month of my expenses. So the idea is when I finish this, I would have a month of my expenses. And right now I'm just using leftover from sinking funds that I designate that don't roll over. I'm using whatever's left over to fund these. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I actually had some cash exchange, so I do use a credit card for a lot of my purchases, um, just because it's, it's a little convenient, especially like for gas and things like that. So when I use a credit card, that's where this little handy dandy notebook comes into effect. And I use this to write when I use my chase card, how much I spent so I can take it from the applicable folder. Yes, I have sticky notes everywhere, but then I can make those adjustments. So to go back. And so this is kind of like my back to the bank folder, mainly for credit card usage. So um, this was the money that I had already allocated to pay back on my credit card. And then I just got paid. So I'm adding uh, that money to it. And that's what we're going to stuff with. I hope you guys have been taking care of yourself. I've been on a journey to take care of myself personally. And that's kind of where I've been. Um, I've just got into a very bad place, I would say around March. And I feel like I'm just really coming out of it and reality is I'm really finally kind of seeing the light from the pandemic. And now I want to like get my life back on track. So I have my cash. I don't really need this. These are where I'm going to do primarily my stuffing. These are some other envelopes that I've made for new sinking funds um, that are due. If I have money in my savings account already allocated for it, I made my own like little placeholders and filled it in. So I, I will know, get that back in there. I shouldn't have laminated these. Um, and I think if I make more, I won't laminate them. But you know, just different things that um, I, I typically accumulate for throughout the year. And so 
I will stuff these as needed, but right now I'm just kind of using what I have until I can accumulate enough funds in my planner of envelope to buy more things like different binders. So that's where I am. I'm using what I have to move forward. So I don't use a cash stuffing wallet. Um, once I get binders, I probably will go back to my Kate Spade. But um, right now, I just, this is just my normal wallet that I use. And so I'm um, taking the change from out of there and I have two challenges. So I showed you the first one and the second challenge I'm doing is I'm saving all of my dollar bills and change. So <laughs> uh, if you know, you know, right? So all of my change goes into the orange or the peach crown royal bag. And if I had any dollars left over, I would just add it to this. I'm not counting it. I'm going to count it at the end of the year and, you know, figure out what I'm going to use it for. But I know I have some dollars in some of these, um, so I want to pull those out. So let me readjust and we'll get started. <laughs> 